I'm Victoria Cooksey, and today we're going to be talking about Honeymoon Chocolates, Blueberry, and Lavender Bar. Now, I've recently had a couple DMs on Instagram of people asking me to just open up the bar and taste it right on camera without having tasted it before. So that is actually what we're going to do today. Now, Honeymoon Chocolates, they are made in St. Louis. They're a bean to bar chocolate maker, and one of the things that makes them unique is they sweeten their chocolate with raw honey. So that's a little bit different and fun. But I picked this bar out also because, listen to these ingredients. Organic Peruvian cacao butter, oat milk, raw honey, blueberry, lemon, and lavender flowers. I really don't think you can go wrong with that combo, but let's find out what happens. Uh, they've got kind of a pull across to open it, and then there's a bit of a Ziploc in there, so you can reclose it. I know a lot of chocolate reviewers that I know like resealable packaging. And by the way, this would be under the category of vegan white chocolate, even though I have a feeling it might have a totally different color to it. And yes, it does. Look at that lovely bluish purple. I hope you can see that well. And they have a kind of like a honeycomb-ish type mold. Let's see. Ooh, that smells really good. <laughs> okay, so you get, you definitely get some oats. There's definitely honey and blueberry, and there's no added spice, but I get a little bit of a cinnamon in the nose, even though it's not added. And you'll find that a lot with Kraft chocolate is, just like with wine, there's so many flavors that'll pop up that are not actually in the ingredient list. So let's take a little piece off. I think too, it's fun, like if you um, smell the part you broke, whether this be a dark chocolate bar, white chocolate bar, whatever, smell where you break it, and sometimes that'll also give you more of a nose too. Now let's taste it. And I can already tell that this is gonna melt really well. Some lemon comes through right away, so I feel like the lemon is enhancing the blueberry. And there's definitely lavender, but it's not like overdone. You know how like lavender could almost go soapy, just like rosemary if you do too much, but this is, um, really seems to match well. I can still get blueberry and I can still get lavender and I can still get lemon, so nothing's being covered up. Mm. And I still get a bit of that spice element even though it's not there. It's really a rich, like you almost feel like you're having some blueberry juice, like it's definitely the blueberry. Ooh, I like this bar. And I, I what's fun with um, Craft White chocolate bars, and in this case, a vegan one, is oftentimes they are adding stuff where you get like these lovely, amazing colors. So if you first looked at it, you would not even think white chocolate. Mm. Okay, so I really like that one. I definitely recommend it. And a little bit of oat coming through towards the end. That's another thing when you're tasting Kraft chocolate is sometimes you're going to get a taste at the beginning. Then it might change throughout and then also be a little bit different in the finish. So pay attention to that. As you're tasting, give it a few seconds, give it 20, 30 seconds, even a minute, just to be sure, hmm, did I get everything out of that bar? And while we're talking about tasting chocolate, um, think about having your palate clean. So like I didn't just brush my teeth or I didn't just have a sip of coffee. I haven't really had anything but water for a half hour to an hour so I can really get the good flavors. And maybe I had a really good day and the bar tastes extra good today. Maybe I had a crappy day and it doesn't taste so well. So I really think give bars a chance, you know, taste a couple bites over a couple days, different times a day, different moods, because that is going to influence you. It really will. Um, with Honeymoon Chocolate last year, I had one of their other bars. I had their Peach Cobbler bar that was really scrumptious as well. Um, I ordered that one and this one off of Bar and, um, bar and Cocoa's website where you can get a lot of online craft chocolate bars. Now, as of this weekend, I think this bar is still in stock, but I don't know if this is one that's going to stick around. It may just be a one and done kind of thing, but that's okay. Even if I talk about a bar and you can't get that exact one, hopefully it gives you a sense maybe about how the maker is um, or if it's something, you know, like this one, okay, they use raw honey. Maybe that appeals to you, so you want to check out their other bars. Also, just the possibility. I mean, this flavor combo, I would want this in a scone. I would want like an oat milk ice cream made with these flavors so it also gives you inspiration of maybe desserts you want to create yourself so yeah I think I really like this one and I love the color and it's just really pretty and I think that would be a kind of fun gift given the the nice lovely color well thank you so much for watching if this one is still in stock I'll put the link for it below um 
Be sure to follow me on Instagram, which I'll also put the link below this video, and check out all my other ones because you never know what video I might make next. Thanks for watching, and I will see you the next time.